Bonnie. Happy Saturday. Who is in an organizing mood today? I am. Oh my gosh. So I decided to organize my one-off Bath and Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist, which holy moly, I'm getting so many of these. I need to get a second bookshelf. So what I have in our bedroom is I have a bookshelf like this from Target. These are the higher end bookshelves. It's white. And what I do is I put all of my fine fragrance mist on the shelf. The bottom is actually shower gel. I'm going to have to move the shower gel somewhere else because I'm getting too many fine fragrance mists. I bet I have over 500. I like to keep one of each so I can refer back to them. And um, it makes a really nice way to organize them. So what I do is I've got all the collections. Like I've got the faceted. I've got Christmas. I've got each collection organized. But one shelf, I just have like the one-offs. Um, two of them that I found today that I wanted to pull. The reason I started this organizational project because I was looking for a rose water and ivy. I didn't find it. I found champagne rose because I want to review bubbly rosé today. And I'm like, is this kind of similar? So that's what I was looking for. That's what started this whole thing. I also pulled um, bourbon and straw, bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. I kind of like this. This is nice. I wish they'd bring this one back. I don't even know. This was the. I think they had. Um, a peach one and a lemon one in this collection, but this is a nice collection. Um, kind of an old one. But anyway, I just pulled those off the shelf. New on the site today, really quick. They finally added the Whipberry Meringue in the shower gel. I need to get that one so I can do my shower gel ranking. And then I'm still waiting for Bubbly Rosé in the mist, but I want to review that. And then they also added Eucalyptus Spearmint Body and Massage Oil in Aromatherapy. Um, and they've repackaged uh, eucalyptus tea. I like the packaging so much better. I did not like the old style packaging. They also have massage oil in that. And of course they have the fresh coconut and cotton. I was kind of holding off to order fresh coconut and cotton and white t-shirt for a buy three, get three sale. There are no sales going on this weekend. I mean, it's bad. I mean, the only thing we have um, is the $15.95 candle sale, which, um, you know, that's like, <laughs> sale, not sale. But I was really hoping we would get a buy three, get three. I think I'm going to hold off until tomorrow to do my order because I have a feeling maybe we'll get a buy three, get three soon. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start the video. It's like a seven minute long video that I took of myself putting all of these scents on the shelf. Let's watch it. So this is the shelf. Like I said, it's the same bookshelf that is behind me. I bought this bookshelf at Target. They're approximately $125, but they're a lot sturdier than um, just like a Walmart um, book bookcase. These are really nice bookcases, and it was definitely worth the price. So I am going to put... Um, all of these scents back on the shelf. Wild Rose and Apple. That's probably one of the older ones that I have. We have Wild Strawberry. That was a pretty good scent. I enjoyed the Wild Strawberry. Um, next up, we have French Lavender and Honey. I don't like that one. For some reason, I have never been a huge fan of French Lavender and Honey. Hello Sunshine. That was okay for me. I do need to pull the dupes out. I noticed I had a couple of dupes as I was putting them on here. Um, Black Amethyst. Probably what I'll do with the duplicates is just give them to my mom or daughter. Capri Coastal. What was that? Capri? I can't even read that. Capri Coastal Citrus. That's so small. Dahlia. Dahlia is such a good scent. Like I said, these are the scents that really don't belong in a collection. At the Beach in the new packaging, I do like the gold. Wild Madagascar Vanilla, that is one of my favorites. I try to buy, oh, Red, uh, Forever Red. I, I'm taking that one down because this one is taller than the other ones, and I don't know why, um, so that's not going to go there. It kind of bugged me. Um, Open Sky. So anything I'm putting on this shelf are either, um, like, New scents, new collections that come out that are just one-offs or like retired scents like Dark Kiss. But I like to keep these on one shelf. Lemon Pomegranate Cream. That was a good one, you guys. I really enjoyed that one. Honey Wildflower. I try to keep one that I don't use very much just as kind of um, a collectible. Starlit Night. And then I have Sweet Pea in the new packaging. Like I said, I think I'm going to need a book, sh a new bookshelf because how many scents now is Bath and Body Works coming out with? Velvet Sugar, that's always a nice one. 
I find that the fine fragrance mist lasts forever. We have Secret Wonderland. So I don't really have to worry about these going bad. Um, my bedroom is very cool and it's in a shady area. Um, in the stars, not my favorite. Sea Island Shore. That was a repackage from last year. They renamed that one. Um, Perfect Peony. I like Perfect Peony. That's retired now. Hibiscus Paradise. I was not a huge fan of that one. That one was a little bit too um, oddly beachy. Oh, Hibiscus Guava Fresca. One of my favorites. That is a good one. Um, Agava Papaya Sunset. That's a really... That, that, that one's beautiful. I really do like that one. They need more papaya in the... Um, Tropical Iced Pear Margarita was also a good one. We've got Pure Wonder. Next up, Champagne Rose. That was the one that I just pulled. <laughs> As you can see, I grabbed that one. I'm like, I'm not going to show that one to everyone. Uh, fairy Tale. Now, I have other Fairy Tales. Like, I use that one a lot. That's just my collectible one. Um, what was that one? Raspberry and Pink Lily. I couldn't even read that. Um... Wild Lime and Gardenia. I didn't like Lime and Gardenia together. That was kind of a weird scent. Gingham Heart of Gold. If I'm going to use one on a regular basis, um, Saltwater Breeze, what I do is I buy, you know, an extra during like a body care sale. And then I have my use it ups that I use on a daily basis. But these are more of my collectibles. A Thousand Wishes. Um... Midnight Pomegranate, that came out for semi-annual sale. You're the one. Let's see what else we have here. I've got, oh, Almond Blossom. I love Almond Blossom. I use that a lot. I have one of those on my dresser. Black Raspberry Vanilla. Oh, that's a set works. I don't know, how, that, that got mixed in there. What the heck? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Um, Cherry Blossom. I'm going to start making another row here because... I'm running out of room. Oh, there goes Coco. Uh-oh. Japanese Cherry Blossom. The squirrels are out there. Moonlit Path. That's a good one. Oh, Coco. Uh, Magic in the Air. That's the old packaging, by the way. Sweet Pea in the old packaging. Next up, we have, um, oh, Pretty as a Peach. I don't like that one. That's the new packaging, but I have one. Um, sensual Amber. Can you believe how many scents there are, you guys? I, this just shows people the scope, um, Honeysuckle, of how many Bath & Body Works scents come out. I mean, oh, that's another one that um, is a weird size. That was the Coconut Milk Moisture Mist from a couple years ago. Um... Hibiscus Paradise. Again, I have a second one of those. I gotta grab those dupes out of there. Um, Love and Sunshine. We have Pink Chiffon in the new Ombre Holographic. We have Live Fresh. Let's see what else we have. Oh, Moonlit Path. That's the old packaging. Next up, we have Lavender and Cotton Flower. Then, my finger is in there. I didn't notice my finger was there until a few minutes ago. That's that uh, bourbon, uh, strawberry, and vanilla. <laughs> I do move my finger in like a second because I just noticed it. <laughs> Pair some more. <laughs> Be enchanted. How long is it going to take you to notice your finger, buddy? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dark kiss. That's the uh, the old pack. I think that's the old packaging. I can't tell the difference between the old and the new one. Hello, beautiful, and the new packaging. It's really difficult to film like this, by the way. Sparkling Limoncello. That was a good one. I'm so glad I have one of those in my collection. Um, we have, Those are hard to read, you guys. That's the Violet Leaf and Blackberry. Sensual Amber. That's a dupe. I gotta get that out of there. Um, that is Coconut Lime Breeze. We have Cashmere Glow. I can't believe how many of these I have, you guys. Uh, warm Vanilla Sugar. That has very little scent in it, by the way. Um, a Starlit Night. I do have a second one of those. i got to grab those out of there. Um, that was the um, Portofino Pink Prosecco, I think. Apple Blossom and Lavender. We have got another Love and Sunshine. Um, Into the Night. And then we have the pink magnolia. Is that it? No, there's more. Uh, black raspberry and basil. Remember that one? 
That was interesting. Be Enchanted. I have two of those. I gotta grab one off of there. And then um, Country Apple and I'm getting to the end, you guys. I think Sunset Glow is the last one. So as you can see, I, I really like that I've got these like neatly all put together. I just wanted to see what I had and I'll pull the dupes out of there and give them to my daughter or my mother. These are the, like I said, the collections. So I've got Faceted over there. I've got the Wicked Vanilla Woods Halloween. And then I've got all of my, um, you know, seasonal things on each cell. Gosh, yes, you guys. So that's, that's a lot of fine fragrance mist. And if you're going to start collecting Bath & Body Works, I highly recommend that you choose a product like the Fine Fragrance Mist or even the mini fine fragrance mist, because those even take up less space. And what you do is you just buy the ones um, that you want to collect. Like I said, as a reviewer and a YouTuber, I refer back to these scents over and over. They're, they're kind of um, all working around in my brain. So what I do is like, say if we have a new scent like Bubbly Rosé, I'll go, that's right. We had Champagne Rose. Let me grab that and try and compare. So what I do is, I try to compare scents throughout the years. Another thing that I love to do is I like to say, okay, I'm going to do all the raspberry scents that Bath & Body Works has ever brought out. And then what I'll do is I'll grab these off of my shelf. The problem is my shelves get really messy because I'm always grabbing things, putting them back, and I always I don't always put them back in the right order. But what I like to do once in a while is kind of do a reorganization. So now in my head, at least now that I have these put back, I kind of have an idea of what is on that shelf <laughs> and where it is <laughs> and what I have. But I think I'm going to need a second shelf. Luckily, um, our master bedroom is pretty large. So I have room in there that I could put another one of these like white shelves. And then they kind of fit in with the decor of the room. I think they look really pretty on the shelf. It, it really does um, mix in with my, my home decor and it kind of looks like art. So that's why I like to um, you know store them in the way I store them because I like to integrate all my Bath & Body Works into my home so it looks pretty and not like I have like clutter sitting all over the place. But I will be organizing that shelf a little bit more. It's always a work in progress. I've gotten really behind this month with everything going on. I'm like, I need to start organizing again. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me know what you think. And um, I will see you guys later. I'm going to review that bubbly rosé a little bit later today. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.